Well, Murph, three points. Finally, we're off the mark. What do you make of that? Yeah, look, it's been well documented. You know, the new squad coming together and, you know, the rebuild that's going on. So, look, I'm just really pleased for the players because it's difficult when you're coming together as a new group and stuff like that. So, you know, to get that monkey off your back as such, the three points, you know, it, look, we're delighted with it, you know. Uh, we should have built on the second half performance last week against Waxford and we've come out today. Obviously, we've come out, we've come out today and, and got three points, but it was a, it was a game, you know, it was, it could have meant maybe either way. If, if truth be told, you know, they had a few chances and, and we had a few chances. But look, here, really pleased. Yeah, and, and, and the important thing again, two clean sheets in a row. You know, it's, it's something really good to build on from the back. Yeah, especially you know, after losing the skipper so early on in the game as well. Uh, you know, that was a big blow, but to be fair, then young Kevin Jordan, who obviously made his debut last week against Wexford, come on at, at, at left back, and, and Alice slipped in alongside Dahi and Kevin, and and not just them, you know, everybody, the three in front and the three in front of that, and obviously Tim, the goalkeeper, played their part in it, and uh, look, no, delighted with a clean sheet, but that's a, a collective, that's just not from a goalkeeper in the back four, that's, that's an 11. Yeah, away game is something we talked about a lot, it's, and Dave's talked about it, personally about player development and the pathway. We've seen it again there with, as you say, Kevin and young Sean and that, putting a big shift in there towards the end, especially. Yeah, look, here, brilliant for the two kids, you know, that, you know, and it's great that the you know, the work that Kevin has done in the academy and, and obviously Stephen McNutt as well, and every other, all the academy coaches as well, you know, it's it's fantastic. And you know, and just on that note there, obviously, with the women's teams now being starting as well, the under-17 ladies have had a fantastic start with two draws. So, you know, Finn Harps is a football club's in a good place place under age and, and now slowly but surely you will start to see some coming through they'll maybe just not come through as quickly as everybody wants them to come through but it'll be small steps and, and look here today is a, is a massive step for Kevin Jordan playing the, the length of time that he did he's worked really hard since he's come into the first team squad and I'm delighted for Kevin and, and long may continue and now we'll quickly move forward and move back into training again and Away we go for another three points next week. Yeah, look, the, the, the interesting thing about the first division is uh, you've just had to look at the results. I'd say Galway, everybody else seems to be taking points off everybody else. So, look, it's another game. It'll be a difficult game. Cove will come and they'll obviously look at ourselves and think, you know, it's maybe an opportunity for them to pick up points. So, again, all I would, I would say is for the Finn Park fans to come out again, they've been absolutely tremendous. Uh, it's brilliant for them young players in there to have that type of following. And, you know, it's even nicer for me as a coach that they have them fans behind you and they're supporting the young players and, and they're, they're seeing what they're trying to do and you know each and every one of them young players in there gives everything every day in, in training and, and to be fair to them in every game this season I think they've given the best that they can do and, and today thankfully they give their best again and got their three points.